Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today we have a team deathmatch match. Team deathmatch, team deathmatch match, team deathmatch, team death. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Um, it's really confusing, but it is a team deathmatch, team deathmatch match. Team, I don't know. Uh, it's a team deathmatch on Prison Break with the SC2010. Uh, it's a chem strike, obviously, but in this gameplay. I kick ass because of one thing, one reason, one one attachment, one thing on my gun that absolutely just gives me an advantage that no one else has, and it completely allows me to fuck them in their asses, and then not even know what hitting. Now let's let's take a second, and everyone watching the video, let's just take a second and all. Let's take a guess on what that is. Let me hear it. Guess. Okay, did you guess the tracker site? Because if you did, you were right. This tracker site is absolutely insane. It is like a red dot site, but better. It's like a thermal site, but it doesn't make everything white. Yeah, that rhymed. But it's just, it's an absolute beast. You know, you can see people across the map. It literally, like, why would anyone ever use a sniper rifle unless you enjoy the challenge? Like, when you can use this thing. I mean, this thing, you can just pick kids off across the map. You could put this shit on the bison, and it'd be a fucking sniper rifle, you know? If you're aiming down sight with this, you press B, and you pull up that iron sight. That iron sight that when you press B is absolutely insane. It's still one of the best iron sights in the game. Now, obviously, I'm over-exaggerating when I say that the bison will become a sniper rifle, but just look at the SC-2010. Imagine just the SC-2010 with no form of optic on it, no red dot sight, no ACOG, just iron sights, okay? You know, you're pretty much fucked. Okay, and then you put on the tracker sight, it becomes a sniper rifle and a beast at close range because you have that nasty iron sight. I know I, made, I, know I made a video um, about this attachment a while back, but that's before like 90% of my channel was even here. And now that most of you are here, I kind of want to bring this to to everyone's attention. And if you are struggling in Call of Duty, you know, I hate to kind of encourage the, the using of this attachment because it is so fucking gay and overpowered it's just such a, it's such a powerful thing because um it's just it lights people up you know they literally glow it's like they're walking around and like look like fucking oranges walking around the map that's what it looks like and the fact that you could just have that on your gun and it's like oh shit there's someone close range boom flip to the overpowered iron sign just rape them is absolutely insane so you know why would someone snipe as far as, like, if you're trying to get a lot of kills and do really good and, and you know, you want to be good at or extremely lethal at long range, like, slap this shit on an LMG. Like, the um, the M27 AR or whatever. Just slap this shit on there. And it's, you're literally going to be just picking kids off across the map. Like, it's absolutely nothing. So, I cannot recommend this attachment enough, but I cannot hate on this attachment enough at the same time just because it is so goddamn overpowered. And you can literally just pick kids off across the map and um, it's annoying to die from a lot. I know a lot of people used to use this in game battles, including myself. And, you know, you would just spawn and you'd have a sniper. You'd pre-aim. You'd look right at him. You'd pull the trigger. But your bullet wouldn't shoot because you'd already be dead. Just because you fucking glow like an orange. And the new sniper rifle, the Maverick I or A269 VAGINA sniper rifle or whatever the hell that thing is, has a built-in, like, sniper scope that's a tracker sight. And the other day, I picked it up, and they had the thermal attachment on it. And I just thought to myself, why would anyone put thermal on the sniper rifle when the sniper scope is a better tracker sight? So, you know, it didn't really make sense. Like, I'd rather have, like, a sniper scope that's a tracker sight than a sniper scope that's a thermal sight. I hope you guys know what I'm saying. Um, you know, it's pretty confusing stuff, you know, all this, all this different tracker sight talk. But um, if you guys do kind of want something to give you an unfair advantage and, you know, you suck at aiming like I do and you need something to kind of give you that, that extra edge, definitely throw this thing on your class. Um, you do get a lot of hate, you know, whenever I use this shit, I get a bunch of messages telling me and telling me I'm a noob. But, I mean, you know, I got a Team Deathmatch chem, which I think is pretty sweet. Back in my sweet, sweet baby 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 game type heavy duty, you know, that was, that was my baby. You know, I love that game type to death, sadly. It's out of the out of the playlist. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Try out this attachment if you are struggling, because it I promise you it'll make you do a million times better. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new, and have a fantastic day, everybody. I am out.